Everyone in my neighborhood assumed that we were aristocrats and wealthy because I was raised in a mansion and I really grew up um, extremely poor. John Jacob Astor was uh, you know, the first multimillionaire in America, a primitive man from Waldorf, Germany, did not, never mastered English, but he made money on furs and wanted desperately to belong to the upper crust and so he married his son William B. Astor to the Livingstons. William B. Astor got the land with the marriage that included Rokeby, where I grew up. Uh, we are direct descendants. My parents didn't have income. They, my father took care of the property and my mother was an artist. I grew up on the third floor in, in the attic in the um, old servants' quarters with my parents. I slept on a metal cot and we had like old car seats for recliners in the living room. It was confusing having like no money because no, no one knew how to work or think about money and yet everyone was obsessing about it all the time and, 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 and totally terrified of, um, of not being able to pay the taxes and losing the property. The, the front of the house really remained unchanged since the time of my gra great grandmother's death in 1963. The book opens um, with a scene of my cousins get dressing up in my great-grandmother's gowns. We did that even though we weren't really supposed to be playing in the front of the house or using my great-grandmother's gowns. So we had to sneak around. So there is a tone of resentment in, in my book, I think, and um, bitterness um, just about not, being, not having full access to property that basically was partly mine. It felt like we also had been sort of stuffed up there, that we were um, sort of unwanted parts of the family. So we're the country cousins. We're the country asters. We're all very good at being eccentric, doing our own thing. Um, we do not like to live by rules. But Brooke Astor was invited um, once, and she came for a luncheon that, in her honor. She arrived by helicopter in the front fields and, with two poodles, and she, you know, she like, had to traipse through the <clears throat> tall grass in her high heels, and she was a very small woman. Um, and my uncle was hoping that she would donate money to fix up the house, but I don't think it happened. I don't think she was very interested in that. Um, I don't think she thought, saw it as a really a necessary cause. You know, we weren't that needy in her, in her mind. 